Life, as we know, is not without its trials and tribulations. We all face moments of despair, times when the weight of our burdens seems too heavy to bear. But I stand before you today to remind you that in these very moments, our faith is tested and our hope is renewed. Let us turn to the Word of God, where we find strength and assurance. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31, it is written, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This powerful verse encapsulates the essence of our journey with God. It tells us that our hope in the Lord is not in vain. It is through this hope that we find the strength to rise above our challenges, to soar like eagles, and to persevere with unwavering faith. My dear friends, it is easy to become disheartened when we face difficulties. We may question why we are enduring such pain, why our prayers seem unanswered, and why the path before us is so daunting. But remember this, God's timing is perfect and His plans for us are far greater than we can imagine. I am reminded of the story of Job, a man of great faith and integrity, described in the Bible as blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evils. He was also immensely blessed with wealth, a large family and good health. However, Job's faith was put to the ultimate test. Satan challenged God, suggesting that Job's faithfulness was due to his prosperity and blessings. To prove Job's genuine faith, God allowed Satan to test him. In a series of devastating events, Job lost all his wealth, his children, and his health. Despite these profound losses, Job did not curse God. Instead, he remained steadfast in his faith in Job 1.21, Job expresses his enduring faith. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Throughout the book of Job, we see him grappling with his suffering, questioning God and seeking answers. His friends accuse him of wrongdoing, suggesting that his suffering must be a punishment for sin. Yet, Job maintains his innocence and continues to seek God. Despite his deep anguish, Job's hope in God's justice and righteousness never wavers. He declares in Job 19.25, 26, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end he will stand on the earth, and after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. In the end, God responds to Job, not with explanations, but by reminding him of his sovereign power and wisdom. Job humbly acknowledges his limited understanding and submits to God's will. Because of Job's unwavering faith, God restores his fortunes, giving him twice as much as he had before, blessing him with more children and granting him long life. The story of Job is a profound illustration of hope and faith through hard times. It teaches us that, even in the face of immense suffering and loss, our faith in God's goodness and justice can sustain us. Job's story encourages us to trust in God's plan, even when we cannot understand it, and to hold on to hope, knowing that God is always with us and will ultimately restore and bless us. It is natural to experience doubt, especially during difficult times. However, we must not let doubt take root in our hearts. Instead, we should confront it with the truth of God's Word. Reflect on His promises and remind yourself of His faithfulness throughout history and in your own life. In James 1.6, we are reminded, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. When doubt creeps in, stand firm in your faith. Declare God's promises over your life and trust that He will come through for you. We live in a world that is constantly changing, filled with uncertainties and challenges. Yet, our God remains the same, yesterday, today, and forever. His promises never fail. When we anchor our lives in His Word, 
we build a foundation that cannot be shaken, no matter what storms we face. Faith is not merely a belief, it is a way of living. It is trusting God in every situation, knowing that He is in control and that His plans for us are good. May we be a people who live by faith, not by sight. May we trust in God's goodness and walk in the light of His word. And may we be a source of hope and encouragement to a world in need. Let us close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message of hope and faith that you have placed in our hearts today. We pray that you continue to work in our lives, strengthening our faith and filling us with your hope. Help us to trust in your perfect plan and to live out our faith each day. Lord, we lift up to you those who are struggling, those who are in need of your comfort and peace. May they feel your presence and know that you are with them. Guide us to be instruments of your love, bringing hope and encouragement to those around us. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing promises and for being our rock and our fortress. We place our lives in your hands, knowing that you are a good and faithful God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.